Yo, welcome back. It's been a little while. I'll promise to address that um, at the end of the video where I've been and what I've been doing. But today's video is actually about uh, Amendment 3 of the 18th edition and yeah, these bi-directional devices, unidirectional devices, what it means for us, what I think. Um, yeah, just talking about the hot topic at the minute. Let's, uh, let's run the intro, get into this video. So what is a bi-directional protective device? It's basically an RCBO or an MCB where it will protect the circuit regardless of the directional power flow. So basically it can have power flow coming from the load side back in onto the bus bar of the board, or of course it can have the power coming through the traditional way, through the mains, through the bus bar, out towards the load side. Now, they've actually put an official definition for a bi-directional protective device into the Amendment 3 uh, DPC, and that is a protective device where a power supply may be connected to either set of connection terminals and power flow may be in either direction. So exactly as I said, it's basically that power can go either way and the device will still operate as intended. They've also added a definition for a unidirectional protective device, which is basically just a normal, you know, uh, protective device as we know them now. And that is a protective device where it's intended that a power supply is only connected to one defined set of connection terminals and power flow is only in one direction. So now you know what a bi-directional device is, you might be wondering, do I need one? Do I need one of these bi-directional RCBOs? And the question is uh, based on whether you've got alternative sources, just like the device sort of alludes to, but you've got to think of these newer installations, these newer scenarios that we're finding with installations where you've got stuff like PV, charging a battery so you've got your mains you know off the grid but you've also got an alternative source coming through solar which is then charging a battery so yeah that circuit which is connected to the solar is going to have power flowing in a different direction same as installations with EV and batteries you may take your EV out, charge it up, take it home, and then if you have a specific system, quite a smart system, you can actually charge your battery using surplus energy in your EV. So again, that's an alternative source there, which is gonna be flowing through the EV circuit into your installation. And these devices aren't built to, yeah, take that but also to protect that with the bi-directional flow so that's why there's obviously awareness being raised about it BEMA recently uh, there's like an association which gets together with all the manufacturers and stuff they've just put together like a document where you can use it to help you determine whether a device is bi-directional any device that has like an in and an out like most RCBOs you'll notice they have an in and an out terminal some of them have arrows some of them have in written here load supply etc so it's pretty obvious but some devices it's not that obvious I think some manufacturers had a bit of a heads up to this pending change because I've started to see a influx of bi-directional devices. I've seen Proteus ones, I've seen Hager ones, and they've actually obviously got it written on the device, but it's actually in the name as well, bi-directional RCBO. So they've been preparing for this as well. But yeah, for those installations where you've got alternative sources, you're going to need to think about having a bi-directional device, and that's where the biggest change in Amendment 3 comes in. So the proposed change which is going to affect people who deal with solar and EV installations is the amendment to part 5, selection and erection of equipment. In chapter 53, protection, isolation, switching, control and monitoring, regulation 530.3.201 says selection and erection of equipment for protection, isolation, switching, control and monitoring shall take account of all possible directions of power flow where bi-directional power flow is possible. Only a device suitable for bi-directional power flow shall be used. Now that is quite... <laughs> 
the amendment because that is going to affect so many installations and I think what people are finding is manufacturers are actually specifying this as well so some warranties might not be upholded um, because people aren't fitting bi-directional devices and now the regs are going to underpin that as well and lean us all that way which is is good it's definitely the better shower isn't it having a bi-directional device but you just got to think about all those existing installations now of course regs aren't retrospective generally <laughs> um aren't retrospective so i don't know if we're gonna have to go back through and dig up all these old rcbo's and change them that would be pretty crazy but you are going to have to think about it going forward and if there's any installations where you think you know they might be more prone to issues you might want to yeah think about changing those devices i think you will get a lot of c2s on like eicrs and they will come out in the wash especially if these devices are quite reasonable you could easily justify a c2 on an eicr where you go back through and you say look this should be bi-directional it's 30 quid for a device let's get that changed so i think we'll see a lot of that um, but yeah when you look through a lot of manufacturers rcbos they're not bi-directional because they didn't need to be um, and a lot of manufacturers are bringing out new devices or updated devices that are bi-directional so between the 8th of may and the 5th of june i believe I'm pretty sure those are the dates, sorry if I've got them wrong. The DPC, the draft for public comment is available to be commented on. Um, so it's quite a quick window this time round. But I think that's because this amendment plans to come out mid 2024, basically summer. Um, so yeah, they're, they're trying to get this this you know commented on um, and get those those amendments finalized basically so it's going to come around pretty quickly by mid 2024 um, yeah bi-directional devices will be required i need to wrap this one up because i need to get back to it but where have i been it's not uh excuses but i've been ill um i've been away i've been working on a job fitting out toilets the last video showed you a little bit of that no oh, fucking hell but there's basically no content. Six weeks of fitting out toilet cubicles, about 20 guys in small little condensed areas, doing a light, uh, a sensor flush, etc. There's just no content there. And I've also started a new job uh, working with Unilight. So I now spend 50% of my time on the tools, which is great, it's what I love. And 50% of my time, uh, yeah, behind the camera filming for Unilight as a videographer and also for some other companies too. So it's really, really cool. It's really exciting, but that's been going on behind the scenes and it's just been taking up a lot of my time recently. But I am aware that I said I was gonna upload every week. I believe if I start uploading two videos a week for the next 10 weeks, I'm actually gonna catch up. So that's the plan. I am gonna have 52 videos out this year. I'm still invested in this channel, being an electrician. And I'm just sorry for, yeah, the lack of content, but we're back to it. Um, I've really changed things around so the three, two to three days a week. I am on the tools. I'm doing stuff that I want to be doing, not necessarily running projects and getting caught up in the politics of site, but just installing, just doing what I love. And that way I can create content on it and be inspired to, yeah do what I love, which is just install, just be a Sparky. So got some cool stuff coming up, some cool stuff coming up on this project, generator supply to put in, uh, UPS, all sorts of cool stuff. And um, there's loads of conduit and tray going on upstairs as well. So I'm hoping to do some bits on that. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's all very exciting. I just need to get back to it and get getting videos out. But yeah, thank you for everyone who's tuned into this video and sorry for the lack of content recently. That's all for this one. Let us know again what you think about the bi-directional devices and Amendment 3, and I'll catch you on the next one.